Is this homebrew item, Necklace of Nine Lives, balanced? I originally got part of this idea from the chat from user GCL then fleshed it out a bit and created it as a magic item. I'm not sure if it's balanced though against other legendary items as it could potentially be quite powerful. Necklace of Nine Lives Wondrous Item, Legendary, requires attunement. This necklace has nine cat-like tokens hanging from the chain. While attuned, if the wearer were to die for any reason other than old age, they can instead choose to expend a charge from the necklace to have the stored resurrection spell cast on them from the necklace. Once a charge is used, one of the feline tokens becomes cracked and tarnished. Anyone can cast a resurrection spell on the necklace to restore one of the tokens and store the spell in it. Once a resurrection spell is cast into the necklace it cannot have another one cast into it for 7d6 days, when found the necklace has 1d10 to 1 spells stored in it. To determine which spells are stored, the DM can choose or roll percentile dice for each spell and consult the following table, begin, array, l, l, text, roll, and text spell line text 0110 and text reincarnate text 11 to 50 and text revivify text 51 to 80 and text raise dead text 81 to 99 and text resurrection text 100 and text true resurrection end array this seems like an interesting item a few changes are necessary you write, they can instead choose to expend a charge from the necklace, but the wearer will generally be unconscious and making death saves when they die, and someone who is unconscious cannot make choices about magic items. This item needs to be changed to activate automatically. This item does not specify how long it takes to cast the spell. The casting time needs to be the full hour. If the item can cast resurrection instantaneously, restoring someone's hit points from zero to full, that's too good. It might not be too good for a martial character, since the minus 4 penalty to attack rolls would be a problem for them. But it's definitely too good for a spellcaster who can just use spells that don't require attack rolls. This item probably should not be able to hold. Revivify. Because that's a very different spell than the other four, and it creates some very strange incentives. Someone wearing a. Revivify. Necklace suddenly feels sad about merely going unconscious, because if they go unconscious and make their death saves, they're out of the action, but if they fail their death saves the revivify goes off and they're back in the combat with one hit point. If you wanted an item that could get someone back into a combat, that should probably be a different item, perhaps one that would cast an emergency healing spell if someone goes unconscious. Consider adding some discussion of how easy it is to notice when one's defeated enemy is wearing this necklace and it is casting a raise dead spell on them. Is it completely unnoticeable until the final stage when they stand up? Mostly unnoticeable unless you examine carefully and notice their wounds are healing? Or does the necklace glow and start chanting in celestial? This question is very likely to come up in practice, so it's better to answer it rather than make the DM issue a ruling. With these changes, the item becomes one that will bring you back to life an hour after you died. Basically it's very similar to a scroll of Raise Dead, except that you don't need the cleric to be standing there casting it. This is not unbalanced. The effect of this necklace is actually not that great. If you fall off a tower and take lethal damage, sure, the necklace will bring you back. But if you fall into a pool of acid, or you get devoured by a hungry monster, or you get killed by brigands and then they loot your body and take your stuff, the necklace won't save you from any of that. But it's still a nice bonus for the occasional time it saves your life. High level groups might want to get one of these necklaces to give to their cleric. If the whole group is wiped out, the necklace will bring the cleric back and the cleric can raise the rest of them. Other characters would probably be happy to have one, too. The rules for magic item rarity are not super consistent. I think it's correct to call this a legendary item simply because it's capable of using a ninth level spell effect. True resurrection. Closing parenthesis dot. But it would be reasonable to imagine a variant of the item that only casts. Raise dead. I think it would be fair to describe this item as rare since it only casts a fifth level spell effect and it doesn't even do that very often. 